SUP summary for urban policymakers regional consultation process and global consultation process is an essential element in a moment in which cities are really trying to find the most effective solutions to tackle the issues of climate change through not only environmental and technological innovation, but also by combining it with the financial needs and, of course, the societal needs in a moment in which, of course, the climate crisis is also combined with a number of other challenges. And it has been a very rewarding, a very exciting process for us to be able to convene cities from across all continents of the world to come first at the regional level together to discuss with businesses and IPCC authors, and now at a global level by combining their knowledge, their experiences, but also their different points of view on needs and challenges that they are facing. There is a need for cities not only to understand what the latest science uh, says and also what technology and innovation can bring to the ground, but also a greater need to understand what it means for them and to be able to, com to connect this knowledge, this information, this access to data with, uh, with also the possibility of making it actionable in terms of policies on the ground. So I think this process in particular is providing a new avenue not only to understand what is happening from uh, from a research and a, and, and a science point of view, but also to ensure that this can be discussed, it can be digested, and it can be utilized to communicate to policymakers on the ground, as well as to citizens and communities on the ground. So it's a great starting point to gather not only a greater understanding of what climate change means, but also to be able to drive together all of the community, all of the different stakeholders at the local level to act together with the urgency that is needed. I think some of the takeaways are, of course, very much related to the importance of having integrated and holistic approaches. This is something the cities have been knowing for, for, for a number of years, I would say, but they are still struggling to understand how to bring together. And the emphasis that there was within the, uh, the discussion, uh, within the summary for urban policymakers itself, around the incredible potential for co-benefits of integrating mitigation adaptation, of crossing the silos among the different sectors. This has been to me an, in, an incredible finding, not only because it's something that still needs to be pursued and strengthened, but also because we had some ideas on the ground on how that can be made actionable. Um, the second finding I would say is the importance of uh, multi-level governance and aligning the activities and the plans and the policy at the national level and the commitment, of course, also at the national level with the actions and the commitment undertaken on the ground at the local level to have really a, a common trajectory and a common pathway to the ambition that we need to solve the climate challenge.